Good day, my name is Mlungi Singosi and welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're still looking at the subject of probability and uh, this time around we are going to be looking at independent events. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you are part of the family and of course um, uh, just hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time that we are posting a new lesson. And of course, you're more than wel welcome to get in touch with us. Uh, you know, whenever you need uh, assistance with mathematics or physical science, uh, we've got our upgrade class right, uh, currently going on. Uh, you can join us uh, at that. And our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za. Right. Now, let's have a look at, uh, you know, the scenario that we have. We've looked at the previ previous scenario where we had a, um, uh, you know, a bag where we were uh, replacing afterwards or, uh, actually not replacing so in that case it was not uh, uh, it, it it was a dependent event okay uh, so in this case we're looking at uh, independent events right now i want you to look at this it says a bag has five red balls and four blue balls right they say the first one is taken and then placed back so it means that we pick a ball and then afterwards, we're going to place it back. And then a second ball is taken. Okay. So in that case, I want us to draw a tree diagram for this scenario. All right. Um, they say find all of those probabilities. We'll come back to the questions. What I would like us to do is look at the scenario. Now, please keep in mind. So what I'm going to do is let's draw the, you know, our bag with balls inside of them. Okay, so in this case, here we've got, um, they said five red balls. Okay, so there's our red balls over there. And we've got four blue, right? Now, in this particular case, of course, if we draw a red ball, all right? Uh, let's say we've got uh, the first event, which is to draw, you know, a, a, red, a, a red ball. So in this case, what is the probability of picking a red ball? All right. So in this case, in our tree diagram. OK, so this would uh, be the probability of red. OK, so the probability of red in this case would be, well, uh, five out of nine. Right. So in this case, we've got five red balls and we've got a total of nine uh, balls um, that are there so in this case the probability of picking red would be five over nine okay and in this case now i want you to always note what's the probability of picking a blue ball or you can actually put it as what's the probability of not red okay because we've got two uh, um you know uh, scenarios in our sample space here uh, we can either pick a red or we can pick a blue. So this is the probability of, now I want us to uh, use the language of probability. This would be not red, okay? So this would be not red. So in this case, I want you to remember the complementary function where we say, well, the probability of red in this case, we've just outlined, the probability of red was uh, five out of nine, right? But the probability of not red, which means that, uh, of course, if it's not red, then uh, we've got blue in this particular case. It would be one minus the probability of red. OK, so in this case, that would be one minus uh, five over nine. And you'll see that that gives us four over nine. And actually, in fact, how many blue balls do we have? We've got four. Right. And in this case, out of the nine. So. Uh, the probability of not red would be uh, four out of nine. Now, remember, we are replacing the ball back. OK, so we are placing it back. So if we had picked red in the first instance. OK, right. Uh, I wish I would have written this, uh, you know, at a different place. But of course, we've used it now. Uh, you understood what I was saying. Right. So in this case, to continue with my tree diagram. Right. If I have picked red in the first scenario. What's the probability actually 
uh, what's the probability of picking red again? Now, you must keep in mind, what did we do? We placed it back. So how many red balls would we have again? We'd still have five. So in this case, you would have the probability of red uh, in the second scenario now, right? Uh, it would still be five out of nine. So meaning that the second event is not dependent on the first. I, I hope you can see that, right? So what happened in the first event did not or does not have a bearing on what happens in the second event. So obviously, again, the probability of not red uh, would be, uh, so the probability of not red, which means the probability of blue, would still be 4 over 9 if I picked red in the first scenario. And of course, if you pick blue in the, uh, in the first scenario, right, um, what's the probability of picking red if you have picked blue, right? So in that case, once again, the probability of red, okay, so the probability of uh, picking a red ball uh, would be, so this would be the probability of red, right? If we pick blue in the first scenario, remember we place it back. And so what would happen? It means that we've got five over nine again, right? And of course, what would be the probability of picking not red, which is a blue? Uh, in this case, um, that would be uh, obviously four over nine. Okay, so this is what our tree diagram would look like. Okay, now what I want us to do is to, uh, you know, just look at the questions uh, that follow and, you know, just how to answer them. Right, so they say to us, uh, uh, find the probability that both balls are red. So which means the probability of picking red and red. Okay, so uh, what I would like to do is let me just, uh, before we actually get even to the question, let's do this. So this would be R, R. So red and red. So that would be, remember we said it's the probability of uh, picking a red multiplied by the probability of picking red again, right? So in this case, uh, that would be 5 over 9 multiplied by 5 over 9, okay? So um, let's say that's 5 over 9 multiplied by 5 over 9. And of course, that should give us 25 uh, over 89, uh, 81. So uh, 25 over 81. That's our probability. Of course, we did say that you can, um, probability can be calculated as a fraction. Okay. Or you can, and it must be a proper fraction, right? Or it can be a decimal. Okay. Uh, that would be a decimal number between uh, uh, 0 and 1. Okay, so it's a number less than 1. Or it can even be a percentage, right? So in this case, uh, what's the probability? In this case, it would be red and blue. So this would be RB. So that would be 5 over 9 multiplied by 4 over 9. So in this case, Remember, it's the probability of picking a red, which is 5 over 9, multiplied by picking a blue, which is 4 over 9, okay? So in that case, what you would have there, okay, that would be 20 uh, over 81, okay? Right, um, again, we've got in this particular case, red and, I mean, uh, a blue, uh, then red. Uh, so I actually I was actually correct with the color, but incorrect with the uh, symbol. So blue and red in this case would be again four over nine and five over nine. Okay, so that would give us uh, twenty uh, twenty over eighty one again. And then the last one would be blue and blue. So that would be blue and blue, and that would give us. 4 over 9 multiplied by 4 over 9. So that would be 16 uh, over 81. So that's our probability of blue and blue. Now, let's go to the question. So the first question that we were asked, remember, they said, what's the probability of us pick, uh, if, uh, for both balls to be red, right? So 
this would be the probability of picking red in the first scenario right and and re remember we use this symbol for and so that would be probability of red uh, and red so we said uh, remember if you haven't watched our videos of initial videos please watch those so that would be the probability of picking red right in the first scenario multiplied by the probability of picking red again right so in this case we've already calculated that uh, red and red that would be 25 over 81 why because we said this is 5 over 9 multiplied by 5 over 9 okay and uh, of course that will give us 25 over 81 okay right so in this case this is what we would do in terms of uh, picking our colors right so the second question so this would uh, this was a right so now we said well um what's the probability that both balls are blue right um, so in this case, we wanted to know, uh, so this is not red and not red. Okay. So what we would then say is this is the probability, sorry, uh, this would be the probability of not red and not red. Okay. So in that case, this would be the probability of not red, which is blue, multiplied by the probability of not red okay which is blue again so uh, where do we have blue and blue of course it's there and there so we said in that case it's four over nine multiplied by four over nine right so that would be four over nine multiplied by uh, four over nine uh, and in this case that gave us 16 over 81 and once again you could have also used the complementary function uh, you could have said, well, this would be the probability of not red, which is 1 minus the probability of red, okay, multiplied by 1 minus the probability of red again, right? So in that case, uh, uh, remember 1 minus probability of red, we said this would be 1 minus 5 over 9, okay, multiplied by another 1 minus uh, 5 over 9 okay and of course that would give you exactly the same answer which is 16 over uh, 81 so i'm trying to just get you guys used to you know using these complementary functions and some of the rules of probability uh, it really is not um you know a difficult section as such it's just that you know certain questions can get tricky but of course uh, will continue to be your plug and uh, just try to simplify things as much as we possibly can right okay uh, the next question that we have they say well uh, what's the probability that a ball of each color is chosen okay so meaning right what is the probability that I can choose uh, red and blue or in, uh, um, in, this, in this case, or it can be blue and red. Now, we've got two of those here, right? Um, we said a ball of each color. So in that case, you can either have the combination of red and blue or you can have blue and red. So what we would do in that case, say, well, What's the probability uh, uh, that we could have a ball of each color? Now, please, I want you to note that would be in this case, the probability of red and blue, right? So that would be the probability of red. Okay. Um, in fact, uh, to put it quite nicely there, this actually would be the probability of red or blue when we actually think about it okay right so in this case that would be the probability of red okay uh, so probability of red and blue which is the first one red and blue so we're looking at this and that there okay but we also have uh, the probability of blue and red right so it means that we're going to add this one and that one and obviously that would be the total of it so this is the probability of red 
and blue okay blue plus the probability of blue and red i hope that makes sense to you right so in this case uh, because we've got two uh, of those so we're going to have five over nine multiplied by four over nine we've got 20 over 81 but we also have this one four over nine multiplied by five over nine which gave us uh, 20 over 81 so in that case that means it would be 20 over 81 plus another 20 over 81 that would be the probability of picking um uh, either ball right um so 20 over i mean 40 over 81 of course you can simplify this and put it in decimal form uh, it honestly is up to you now let's go for uh, the next question now they say what's the probability uh, um um right they say at least one red ball is chosen now where do we have at least one red ball right look at this we've got red and red right which is at least there's one there's two in this particular case well there's at least one red ball there uh, where we've got red and blue and we've got another uh, red and uh, i mean blue and red so that's at least one red ball in this case there isn't a red ball right in that particular case so uh, we are not we are not going to include the blue and blue because there isn't a red ball in that particular case so to answer the last question okay so that would be the probability of red and red okay plus the probability of red and blue there's at least one red ball there there's a plus the probability of blue and red there's at least one red ball there so we'll say okay so this would be the probability of red and red plus the probability of red and blue plus the probability of blue and red okay so in that case remember uh, red and red we said that's 25 over 81 red and blue um sorry we're supposed to add there uh, red and blue we said that's 20 over 81 and of course blue and red that is also 20 over 81 and of course all we need to do uh, the denominators are the same so we can just simply add the numerators so our final probability in that case would be uh, so that would be 65 over 81 all right um, so that is how we would uh, go about answering that question i hope that kind of makes sense to you all right uh, so that's how you always would go about you know drawing a tree diagram in this particular case we've got a scenario where it is an independent uh, uh, you know function and of course we're going to uh, uh, you know just have a look at more of those and make sure that we are able to answer uh, the questions adequately otherwise ladies and gents uh, from me for now i want to leave this one here and we will be looking at uh, of course another sort of practical application of this uh, um, you know uh, concept uh, otherwise from me for now i'll see you guys next time please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to like the lesson please don't forget to uh, also hit that notification bell and of course just share as much as possible okay tell them all that you've got a plug for physics and science i'll see you guys next time sharp sharp